Hello and welcome to Teacher Rahula's channel. Before starting the lesson, let me thank all the subscribers for subscribing and helping me reach 1000 subscribers, which would be impossible without your support. Please do not forget to like the videos and leave comments so that your subscribes do not drop. Let's now start the lesson in which we were asked to check our progress. In question one, it says, a baker makes 147 lemon cakes and 225 fruit cakes. How many cakes does the baker make? We are asked to estimate and then calculate. And we are asked to show our method as well. To estimate the sum of the number of cakes, I will use rounding and I will round the numbers to the nearest 10. So 147, if we round to the nearest 10, we will get 150. 150, because seven is five or more. And to round 225 to the nearest 10, we will get 230, because five, which is in the ones place, is five or more. So the sum of the estimated answer is 380. Let's now find the exact number of cakes that the baker has baked. So 147 plus 225. I will use column addition and we should not forget the addition sign as well. 7 plus 5 is 12. We regroup 1 and write it above the tens place. 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7. And 1 plus 2 is 3. 372 is very close to the estimated answer. It means the baker has baked 372 cakes. Let's now move to the next question. Let me scroll a bit down. In question number two, it says 384 children visit the museum on a school day. At three o'clock in the afternoon, 158 children return to school. How many children are still at the museum? Again, we are asked to estimate and then calculate the answer. So we are asked to show our method as well. In this question, we have to subtract to find out how many students are still at the museum. So to estimate, I will use rounding. I will round to the nearest 10. 384 rounded to the nearest 10 will be 380 because 4, which is in the ones place, is 4 or less. And 158, when we round to the nearest 10, will be equal to 160. Because 8, which is in the ones place, is 5 or more. So we have rounded up. Now the number of students who are still at the museum will be 220. 220. This is not the exact number. It is just an estimation. Let's now find the exact number of students who are still at the museum. To do so, we will subtract 158 from 384. So 384 minus 158. We cannot subtract 8 from 4. We will regroup and borrow from 8. 8 becomes 7 and 4 becomes 14. Now 14 minus 8 is 6 and 7 minus 5 is 2. 3 minus 1 is also 2. 226 students are left at the museum which is very close to the estimated answer. Let me scroll down to move to question number three. In question number three, it says, Bo pays for his new jacket with $50 note. He gets $24 change. How much does the jacket cost? Write your number sentence and solve it to find the cost of the jacket. So because we are asked to write our number sentence, I will write 
$50 minus the price of the jacket that we don't know is equal to $24. To find the price of the jacket or to find how much the jacket cost, we can write, we can use inverse operation and write $24 plus the amount that we don't know equals $50. What amount plus 24 will give us 50? For sure, it is $26. So $24 plus $26 equals $50. So the price of the jacket is $26. We are done with all three questions. I hope it helps you learn how to estimate the difference and also the sum and also how to subtract and add money. Again, I would like to ask all of you to subscribe to my channel, like the videos, and leave your comments under the video. Have a nice time and thank you so much.